Hey, hello everyone and welcome back. Um, so welcome to the first edition, I guess, of Polka Mondays, um, where basically I figured why not uh, finally jump into the Pokemon uh, collecting and see what that's all about. Never actually opened up any Pokemon before, I have no idea what I'm doing, uh, what cards are good, what aren't, but uh, we will find out. Uh, I thought what would be fun would be to kind of track a collection over about a year and just to kind of see where it stands after a year. So I do, I did get an ant here, let me the camera. I did get a camera, a camera. I did get an app showing kind of like uh, where you can add your collection in. So, so far with just the four sealed boxes that we have, the collection is sitting at 179.29. So it's a little bit down from when I first bought everything. It's down almost $10. So I think what we'll do is we'll open up the two, the two spring 22 cases add everything into the uh app and then see uh where that where it stands after that see if it actually goes up in value after we get everything after we pull everything out and add everything to the collection or if it's uh better to leave everything wrapped up in sealed boxes i'm just kind of curious but all right so the first one i guess we can do um let's give me go the portfolio which one's cheaper okay so the the uh collector's tin I bought for $15 and it's down to $14.14. And then the uh, other spring collection, which is basically, it looks like it's exactly the same thing. It just doesn't have some of the stuff that's inside and it doesn't, obviously it doesn't have the tin part that comes with it. Sorry, I should probably move this back. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this one's actually the cheapest one. So let's go ahead and open this one first, I guess. And we'll see what's in that. All right, so let me, See if I can actually get a good camera angle. <laughs> so hello to Jordan, John DeMarco, and uh, Gorilla. And oh, I already said Gorilla. Jordan, Gorilla. Sorry, I'm so used to just calling you Jordan still. All right. So in this one, we're supposed to get five five trading card booster packs, three foil promo cards, feature album, whatever. A cool coin, don't really care. Four colorful sticker sheets, a mini portfolio to share your favorite cards, whatever. And a uh, Pokemon notebook and a code. A digital code. All right. Let's get there. So what is in the box? All right. So here's our box. We got a couple promo items apparently. I honestly have no idea if like these promo cards are any good or not. So if anyone's watching in the replay, you'll have to let me know. <laughs> and then we got this weird little coin thing. I'm just gonna leave these sitting in here for now. Like I said, I've never I've actually never played Pokemon except for I think I pl I played the uh Pokemon Go game for a little while on my cell phone when it first came out, but that's pretty much all I know about Pokemon. So I have no idea what these coin things are for. I'm guessing it's for the game to like like coin probably a coin flip thing. So that's what I'm gonna assume. Alright, so we got that. Uh Gorillas can't be in chat. Is okay. Sorry to hear that, Jordan. <laughs> yeah, not not poker right now. All right. So when we got our packs here. So we get one, two. So we get one brilliant stars, one fusion strike. So I have no idea which sets are good and which are not. Looks like we've got our code down there. We'll do that in a minute. Uh, so we got another Brilliant Stars, another two Fusion Strikes. All right, so more garbage in there. Let's see. Then we've got some, like, these must be the sticker sheets. Yeah, all right, so a couple sticker sheets. Uh, I don't really need these for anything. And then this must just be the trading card book. Oh, this is the notebook that they we're talking about. All right. What else? Oh, and then a tiny little mini portfolio, which 
looks really stupid. How does this, how does this even work? Oh, it does have little card sleeves inside. All right. All right, well, maybe we'll use that with these uh, little cards, then, with the cards we get. Actually, we'll do that right now. We'll put this little quill guy in one of these. I ah, you know what, we'll do it later. I'm sitting wait, sitting in an awkward position, so it's kind of hard to figure out. All right, so let's get rid of the tin thing and all the garbage. Yeah, I have an idea. So that's, this is what, okay, so this is all that comes in the special tin one. Stickers, cards, blah, blah, blah. Let's also open up the uh, other one, see what comes in that one. Just, just to see how different it is. And then we'll start opening up the packs. All right, so this is the more expensive one. This was, I think I originally bought it for, it looks like 22, and it's, and it's dropped in price to 21. So losing money on this already. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open this one up. All right, so this one, it looks like it's going to be basically the same thing. We're not going to get the binder thing, which is completely fine with me. We don't get the coin, it looks like, which is also fine. But it looks like uh, we're going to get a couple extra booster packs in this one compared to the other one. Now let's see what comes in this box. Oh, oh never mind. I lied. <laughs> so basically, it looks like the exact same ones, I think. A bigger, a slightly bigger coin. Ooh. But then, yeah, it looks like the same uh, promo cards. The Asha Watt, Rowlet, and Cyndaquil. I mean, they're kind of cool looking. I like how the backs are kind of well, like all like foil or hologram or whatever the hell you call that. That's kind of cool looking. All right. And we've got oh, all of our boosters here. Looks like it's pretty much it. Looks like, I kind of think um, Pokemon packaging is a little wasteful. I mean, look at all the empty space that they have in here. It's just pretty much all filled with just cardboard. Pokemon just does not care about the planet. <laughs> Liar. What? And then we have, oh, I guess I am a liar. We, we got the stickers again. We got more stickers in this one, it seems like. And then a second uh, notebook, I think. Yep, second notebook. All right, so it's basically the same thing. Uh, we do get a couple of vivid, we got one vivid voltage pack. And this, oh my God, there is a camera. One vivid voltage. Uh, we got... Second, vi okay, so never mind. We got one, two, three vivid voltage cup packs. Don't know anything about that. Uh, got a brilliant stars, one, two brilliant stars, it looks like, and one fusion strike, and then one evolving skies. I kind of wish I knew which uh set was better than compared with all these, but I have no idea. Right, let's get rid of our garbage again. So, so far, I mean, it seems kind of like it's basically exactly the same. There's not really much of a difference here. Um, this one's cheap. This one's cheaper, at least, and you get a tin with it. I mean, that's kind of nice for, like, storage, but I guess this box also works, too. I just don't really... I guess the pack value must be that much higher where it uh, makes, this, makes this one almost $10 more expensive than the... Uh, other one and as far as i can tell it's only because yeah so three yeah three six seven and we get five packs over here so it's only three extra packs that we're getting for this one compared to this one and i can't imagine like this stuff like the extra stuff they give you is really worth that much anyway so let's just say that the packs are basically we're the cost is and everything else is just a freebie i suppose uh that would put our per pack cost on this one 
about what two dollars since I said this was about ten dollars. So about two dollars each for that one, and then I guess our pr per price pack on this one would be uh, probably closer to four, three or four bucks. So I, I guess. Hey, bird. <laughs> yeah, poker Monday. Yeah, I know. I everyone read that wrong. I'm still waiting for you to set up your poker room, bird, so we, so we can play. But anyway, if anyone does play Pokemon and has any digital and has the digital collection. Here is a free code. There you go. All right. I mean, uh, let's open our first pack. What well, shall we? So which one should we do? We've got some fusions here. And we have a couple. Of, all right, we'll go like this. We'll do the Evolving Skies one first, I guess, since we only have one of those. Uh, really? I'm really defeated by this. <laughs> All right. Um... There we go. God. Alrighty. So I think there's like a card trick to this. Oh, there's another code. Oh, we'll do all the codes at the end, I guess. One, two, three, four, I think it is. Yeah. All right. So your energy card. Uh, let's see. Palpitoid. So that's Palpatine in toad form, apparently. Shopping center. Uh, I have no idea what this is. A herdier. It's like a weird dog creature. Uh, Lotad. The fuck are these things? It's like a. <laughs> this is like a blue thing with a floaty on top of its head. That's weird. Uh, a Molga. Boo bat. Uh, whatever that is, Goss Fleur, <laughs> Feebass, that sounds stupid. And, uh, Hurt here, a uh, special Hurt here, so I have no idea if that's good or not. <laughs> and it looks like our VMAX card is a, a Garbador. It's like a, it's like a giant pile of garbage. All right, I have no idea. Like I said, if any of, the, any of these cards are good or not. <laughs> at the end, well, like I said, what I'll do is I'll quick throw them into the app and see where we're sitting at. I might have to do that off camera though. Just post like a short update or something because it might take a while to put all these in. All right, so moving on to Vivid Voltage, 10 cards. A big pile of trash involved into another pile of trash, probably. That's what it seems like. All right, so let's see. All right. All right, so we have Wyndham Stadium, Wyndham Stadium, a Nuzleaf, a Memory Capsule, and Ah, it's a Puccina. It's a Pucci slash Hyena. Weird Volt Orb. Rock Ruff. Taylo. Nyamna. <laughs> um, a Bera Scuda. <laughs> oh, Put that one over there. And then a uh, Lucario. So I guess nothing special on that one. I think all these like are just like the common base ones. I'm not sure. But I'm going to assume that's what that is. And then all like the ones like this I've just been setting aside. <clears throat> Alright, let's try a Brilliant Stars one. 
Uh, I think the Kong I used was from the trading card game side. If I remember correctly, I used to have early Pokemon cards, and I went to the games, and then I went to the, the went to MTG, and then sold those cards. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is work on putting a collection together, just tracking one for about a year, see how it goes, buying, selling, and trading stuff. And uh, I'm just kind of curious whether or not you can actually make if you can actually make any money collecting Pokemon cards or if it's just kind of all hype. Uh, all right, let's hope for a big pull, right? We want something awesome, not not more energy. Friends of Galar. Teams yells, team yells, cheer. Well, this camera just does not want to focus, does it? There we go. Fracture, Duskull, Corfish, Corfish, um, a Magmar, a Spirit, some, a Spirit Tomb, a Burmy. All right, then we've got a uh, Starvia. And then, I got nothing special, a drud Drudgeon. All right, so we'll keep that one. And then we'll try a Fusion Strike, I guess. <coughs> Captain, Shinier Foil cards uh, usually get a bigger return when you trade them. It's really, uh, it depends on the market, yeah. Uh, when I sold my MTG, I made about 1100 or so, but I'm not even going to think about how much I spent to get that. If, we are going, if you are going to try and invest in cars, I would think uh, stocks would be good. Yeah, I, I'm kind of curious. Um, yeah, because I mean, I know a lot, a lot of people like that are probably serious in, tra in like collecting. Um, probably would like go by single cars and stuff like that but i'm just kind of curious of whether just the normal person off the street like me just buying like random uh random sets sets you know retail and opening packs could actually put a collection together put a collection together and actually be on the plus side or if uh it's basically just a waste of money i'm just curious have been for a long time but never really even thought about doing it until just recently. All right, some more of that stuff. Some more energy. We got the judge. I don't know what the hell that is. Exadrill. Trevenant. <laughs> These names are so hard to pronounce. I'm so terrible at pronouncing names anyway. Uh, Shelmet. I don't think we've gotten really many duplicates yet, have we? I haven't really, I'm not, I'm not really paying attention that that well, but I don't think we have. Plus, Pulse, Pulsal, no, Muna, Muth, Morrow, uh, Nine Tails. Okay, I have no idea. I could swear I saw some. I think I saw someone on a video talking about that one, but maybe not. And a Toxicroak. All right, let's go back over to uh, Vivid Voltage. Oh yeah, I'm not trying to downplay or anything. Uh, you do, you want? I'm just not more of a minimalist when it comes to physical things. My apartment is very bare bones. Oh, yeah, me too. Trust me. <laughs> I'm actually the. I'm not actually really interested in collecting very much. Very much. Um, it's more just the fun of just doing this, the, the pack hunt, and then. Uh, so yeah, I mean, most all the cards that I pull from packs are going to end up going for sale in my in one of my in one of my online stores, and then just getting rid of it pretty much. I'll probably keep the Pokemon stuff for like I said about a year just to kind of see. Um, obviously, if we have any really good cards, we'll put the, I'll put those up for sale right away. But I mean, most most of it, I'm just gonna probably just hold on to for maybe a maybe a half a year or a year, like I said, and just kind of see where it is. Just a few, just a. Figure it all out. 
All right, so there we go. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> the pack hunt is all the it's the big amount of fun for me, and I think it's like hard coded in my DNA as an Asian to enjoy doing gotcha games. Uh, no idea what that is. A Rocky Helmet, uh, Gravantula, Wismer, Drillber. I'm gonna go a little bit faster, guys. Um, that way I can start adding these into the app to see where we're sitting. And another shiny Yama, Yanma thing. And we'll just finish off the Vivid, uh, the Vivid Voltage. So I haven't, like, we haven't really run into anything huge yet. I know we're looking, I know we should probably look for, you know, I shouldn't even say anything. I was going to, I should have looked up, like, some of the, big pull cards that come from each of these sets just so I'd have like a checklist we could be looking at but I wasn't smart so I guess when we add it to the app and we find out whether it's what it's worth that'll be the, that'll be the surprise I guess one two three four all righty more energy so wash energy a nuzleaf whatever a pincher chin electric elect strike Electric. Egg. Oh my god. Oh, an EV. I know that's kind of a good card, right? Or I think it's like the special EVs that are good, but I'll pull them off to the side for now. A Woobat. A Hero's Medal. A Shiny Hero's Medal. And a Shiny Tornadus. Alright. We'll put these in our probably better pile and move on to the brilliant stars oh what's this <clears throat> what's this black card do you guys think I've never seen that one yet It's a B Star card. I have no idea what the hell this is. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> <coughs> All right. I'm sorry. I should probably stop coughing like right into the microphone. Sorry about that. Uh, Craw Dot, Ultra Ball. I think the Ultra Ball is good, but I think you need to have like the hologram one or the uh, gold version or something. By Brava. Sounds dirty. Chimchar, <laughs> uh, Minchino, Baltoy, Snoron, whatever, a Kara Blast, shiny one of those, and then another dragon thing, a Drudia, a Drudion. All right. Thanks, Tom Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Thomas. Bird, I found a poker set up like I want tomorrow, Poker Tuesday at 5 p.m. I will be there, Bird. Send me the link. I enjoy playing poker, my friend. It's just nobody around likes playing anymore. Right, another energy card. Double turbo energy. All right. Another... Duplicate clean cleansing gloves. <laughs> Another duplicate Starly Shroom Shroomish. That's uh that's what that's what you actually look like after you have some shrooms. Pill up tur a tur twig. A tur twig. Uh oh, alright, so we got a special looks like it's a what what is that called? When the character is normal and the background's holographic? So is that a reverse hologram? I have no idea what I'm talking about. But anyway, it's a it's pretty nice. Al Cream. Al <laughs> I think her name's Al Creamy. <laughs> That's not right. And then uh Heat Ran. Alright, so we got this one. Poker now club games, gotcha. That's a link for a test game I set up, uh, but you can make your own game, obviously. All right. 
tool. Energy, magma basin. Oh, yeah, we don't want to see the special one to the end, right? Crawdon, Flap Stadium, uh, that thing. <laughs> All right, and we got another Cincino thing. I have no idea how to say that name. This one's a shiny one, and then we got a Bibarol. A uh, biberol. All right, last three packs, guys. We're down to the last three fusion strikes. What will we find? Anything good? Oh, you know what? I should have. Dang it. I should have paid attention to what packs he's come out of because then like it would have been faster adding them to the app because it, it kind of breaks it down by the uh, set things. Oh, I'm stupid. I should I should have paid more attention. But anyway, energy schoolgirl chili and something whatever copper jash <laughs> copper j copper raja. <laughs> I got never mind. I'm not even gonna. Even try to say these names anymore. We got a cool shell mitt, and then we do have a special card finally. Oh, what is it? Is it the big money card? It's a Do a Dorito V. A new snack from Doritos. A three headed bird. No reprieve. And rampage drill. When we get a scent of scorch, oh, it is a centipede. I was kind of, I was like, what the hell is that even supposed to be? But yeah, okay, I get it. It's a flaming centipede and a gorbis. All right, last last pack, and then we can start checking to see if we've made any money or lost all of our cash. All right. Energy card. Power tablets. Yes, we should always we should tell we should teach our kids to take drugs. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, a wooloo. All right, so we've got a helio, helio, helioptile. All right, so, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, one second. <laughs> hey, antiderivative. Sorry, I was coughing. And then we got our third special card. Anything good? I have no idea. It's a Greedent VMAX. Apparently, a Greedent VMAX is a fat kitty. A fat pink kitty. <laughs> all right, so that's all seven 
what, not 17, 13 packs or so. Let me get rid of the trash here. I don't have a garbage can near me. So I'm an idiot. All right. Uh, before we do anything else, let me go over all, get you all, get anybody that wants them, all the digital codes, and get this stuff out of the way. And then we can do a quick review, too. So these are going to be... I'm guessing the VMAXs are going to be our special cards that we want to keep. And then I kept all the foil ones off to the side, too, so we can look up in the app. There's probably just way too many uh, common ones to do while we're sitting here on stream. So I'll work on getting the uh, common ones set up in the app after we're done. All right, so let, once again, if you get, if anybody does collect Pokemon cards on the on the the digital ones. I I'm, I'm guessing this is Pokemon Go. Here is a bunch of digital codes. So starting with the first one. Go ahead and pause if you want. I'm just going to let it sit on the screen for a second or two, and then we'll go to the next one. There's code number one. Uh, that's the second code of the day. Here's the third one. And obviously, good luck to you guys if anyone takes it. But uh, it's obviously first come, first serve. But I'll probably just do this with all the Pokemon, with any cards that we get. If we do, it, if we have any like uh, special redemption, like digital digital redemption stuff like this, then we'll just I'll just put it on the screen and let whoever the first one that gets it gets it. Right, so there's another code. There's another one. Looks like these are all brilliant stars ones, right? Yeah. Okay, so there are some for other ones too. So it looks like it looks like all the redemptions are either for oh no, there was some vivid voltage in there too. So okay, never mind. There's I guess I guess there's a freebies for all the different sets. So there you go. These are all of the free cards. All right, so let's go back to the app real quick. Take a look at that. What we're gonna do is um so like we said. What do we say we're at? You know, I'm just going to use this notebook that we got today, too. So. Okay, so we said we were at, with just the four products alone, we were sitting at, our portfolio was at, uh, oops, 179.29, the four sealed items. So now if we take the portfolio, we get rid of this. We'll go to zero there. Oops. No, zero. Okay. Wait. Try to remove a product as a purchase price associated. Need to put, oh, we need to remove the purchase price. To clear. Zero. Let's see. Ah, so stupid. Maybe I'll have to do this offline. <laughs> it's not letting me remove it. Come on. Price paid. actual F. Okay, there we go. God. There we go. Now we got rid of all that. 
Oh, cool. Alright, let's start with the two V Max cards, I guess. And we'll search for that. So Pokemon. Um does it tell you which pack this came out of? It'd kinda be nice if it did. Hmm. Don't think so. Don't think so. So we're gonna have to do this the slow way. So we've got uh, greed and uh, Vmax. Okay, there we go. Greed and Vmax. That one's at a dollar thirty-nine. It looks like. All right, set you there. This is gonna take way too long, so we'll do the we'll do a couple of these, and then uh, I'll do the rest offline, and then I'll do like a just record a quick short or something just to go over the we're sitting at value wise. Uh, next time I'll have to be smarter, and if we have um, something that has multiple different kind of set packs, I'll just have to actually pay attention to what I'm doing and save it. So and stack them with their each each individual never mind i'm so i can't even talk right now i'm so stupid okay door no not to read our door to rio okay so the door to rio v is showing at 86 cents Ooh. let's see Garbador, Gar, Bo. Okay, so Garbador V Max, Evolving Skies. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Dollar uh, thirty. All right, so just for fun, with just the V Max, our portfolio is. We're at one forty six ninety seven. We're down forty dollars and seventy one cents. So we've got to make we got to make up forty one dollars and just uh, the cards here, which I don't think we will. <clears throat> All right, so let's just do a couple of these and then we'll call it quits for the day. I think. So let's look up uh, Yanma. See, okay, so here's the problem. It's listed as Astral Radiance, Shining Fates, Vivid Voltage. I'm going to guess it came out of the Vivid Voltage one. I don't think we have, yeah, we did have some Shining Fates, didn't we? Um, oops. Let's try. Um, let's see, this is the. Oh, it's got a picture. Never mind. We just match that up. All right. So it is the vivid voltage one. So that's a whole 17 cents. All right, we'll do one more and then we'll move on from this. Nine tails. So um, let's see. We're looking for the hollow, I think. Number 31 out of 264. Hollow rare, 15, so that just can't be it. Oh, it's probably this one. 31, 31, yeah, all right, so. Boo, it's not the, it's not the one for $200. <laughs> It's the one for what the hell did I just do? I just swore I just grabbed it. There we go. It's the one for 32 cents. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Come on. We need one, one good one. Let's go. Let's see. Star. Star Avia. So 
So it's number 118, 172, 118, 172. All right, so this one is all of nine cents. <laughs> All right, so basically we have, we've broken a dollar on one of these cards so far, guys, the VMAX. So let's just do it like this. So with all these left to be put into the app, uh, do you think we'll make up, what did I say, $40? Do you think we'll make up the $40 now that we've pulled these two tins out of the, out of the uh, since we unsealed these? Because uh, the four sealed tins together was, I think we started off as well, it was a $170 so far. So, um, yeah, what do you think? Do you think we'll be above the original starting um, value once I get all these cards into the app and looking at, and look, and all the prices looked up? Or do you think we'll be under where we were when we started this? Which, if I was smart, I would have written down. So I'm sorry, I forgot to do that. I think it was 179.29, though, when we started. Asian Kyle, I bet he, I bet he did not. <laughs> We're going to find one, Thomas. We're going to find a card one of these days that are worth, that's worth a million dollars. And then uh, we're going to go and buy a small uh, tropical island and we can just retire there. All right. So um, next up, uh, what was I going to do? Um, okay. So basically what I'm going to do is probably, I haven't decided if I'm going to do Pokemon Monday stuff, um, either uh, once a month or twice a month. So I'm, I'm right now. I'm thinking every other week. I just don't want to be spending a shit ton on Pokemon, just because, it's, like I said, I'm not, I'm not really doing it to collect. I'm just mainly doing a, an experiment to see uh, if a collection is actually ever worth anything. Um, so next time we'll open up one of the celebrations boxes. These are a lot better. Um, I'm, I've heard they have a lot better thing, stuff inside. So that'll be probably in about two weeks or so. Not, not this coming Monday, but uh, next the Monday following. Uh, as far as other stuff, uh, let me know what you guys want to do. Um, I do have some more, you know what? I've got some more product coming in this afternoon. Um, as far as some more cards coming in, uh, like I said, I've got some DS9 and TS, TOS stuff. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is, yeah, when that comes in, I'll just do another short stream probably, uh, and go over that. And then we can kind of decide on, uh, what uh, the next box you guys want to see broke open but anyway that's going to be it for today thanks a lot for hanging out with me um and uh yeah i was going to say something else but i completely i just completely spaced it out dang it oh also the r2d2 build i'm not really sure when i'm going to start doing that yet i was thinking about doing that tomorrow but if uh bird's going to do some poker night i might go hang out there instead and just play poker tomorrow and then um maybe i don't know we'll see i'll figure it out we'll figure it out later on i'll come back on later on this afternoon mm -hmm. more than likely for a little bit just to go over a few things and try and figure shit out but uh yeah anyway have a good day guys i will talk to you guys later and uh yeah thanks you for stopping by see ya